Whoa, what's up? Today's video is on Lil Wayne in regards to George Floyd murder. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. You understand me? And before we get started, we're going to start off with our ignorance disclaimer. If you have a problem with cursed words and you believe the blood of your firstborn going to rain from the sky, you should leave now. If you think I'm hating on Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne wealth, or some bullshit like that, or hating on New Orleans. I'm from New Orleans. There's no way I'm hating on this idiot, but I don't give a fuck who the celebrity is. You will be fucking exposed. It could be him. It could be what her name is, Trina, who out there calling people animals, Killer Mike, who out there protecting property, and we're going to get to that in the next video. I don't give a damn who you is, but before we dig deep into the video and Block Talk break that shit down, let's read the article from HotNewHipHop.com, and then we're going to Block Talk talk break down the whole interview in regards to race god damn it throw that shit up you are witnessing the rebel network the murder of george floyd has sparked debates protests and more across the country as we continue to bear and see disturbing instances of racism in the united states multiple protests are taking place today including a large one in atlanta following the deaths of george floyd ahmaud aubrey and brianna taylor many celebrities have issued their thoughts on the killing of floyd this week and lil wayne is the most recent person to speak his mind explaining that if we want to place blame on anybody for what happened it should be ourselves having a virtual chat with fat joe wheezy noted that he thinks we could all be blamed for what happened to george floyd let's continue i think when we see these situations, I think we have to also understand that we have to get very specific, he said. And what I mean by that is we have to stop viewing it with such a broad view, meaning we have to stop placing blame on the whole force and the whole everybody or a certain race or everybody with a badge. He further explained his comments, which could be viewed as controversial. We have to actually get into that person and if we want to place blame on anybody, it should be ourselves for not doing more than what we think we're doing, said Wayne. He also said to Fat Joe Bitch made ass about why he hasn't made a public statement about this. What else am I going to do after that, he said. Some people put out a tweet and they think they did something. Some people wear a shirt and they think they did something. What are you going to do after that? Did you actually help the person? Did you actually help the family? Did you actually go out there and do something? So if I ain't about to do all that, then I ain't about to do nothing. I'll pray for you. What do you think of this view? His view, my bad, but you witnessing the rebel network. But before we block talk, break down the obvious bullshit that came out of his mouth, let's watch him say it and chop it down piece by motherfucking piece. Let's put the first clip up, y'all. It was actually a cop who saved your life, true? It was very true. Cop named Uncle Bob. Now, do y'all see how these people operate, goddammit? He starts off with emotion. Oh, it was actually a cop who saved your life, right? And Lil Wayne, he made it personal. Oh, Uncle Bob. Yep, Uncle Bob saved his life. Uncle Bob, a fucking white patrolman who used to patrol your neighborhood. Uncle Bob. And look at how fast Joe set it up. It was actually a cop who saved your life. Oh, after all of that shit, you and Fat Joe been pushing to the black community? Fuck the police kill a police and all of that shit now it was actually a cop who saved your life and all of that old bullshit huh let's continue he heard the, the shot that he heard the uh whatever the call come over his radio so he was off duty he took it upon himself to just come to yeah yeah he took it he since he he knew the he knew the area so well he was like he wanted to see who the hell it was while witnessing the Rebel Network, did you hear Lil Wayne? He said he heard the call over the radio. He was off duty. Can y'all tell me why the fuck he had a radio? Why the fuck he had a car? Because back then, you had to have the car to have the goddamn radio, I believe. Why the fuck was he in that neighborhood, y'all, with a car and a fucking radio when he was off duty? Sound like he was on some suspicious shit, if you ask me, goddammit. Talking about he took it up on himself. First of all, y'all, 
while we know he don't live in a, a neighborhood, remember, Lil Wayne is from an impoverished neighborhood. You think a fucking police lived there, goddammit? You don't think people would have targeted his house, goddammit? So why the fuck was he off duty around Lil Wayne neighborhood? He never asked himself that, I guess. And look what he say. He took it upon himself, but yet he gonna try to clean it up and say, oh, because he knew the area so well. Oh, I don't want to hear that knew the area so well type bullshit, motherfucker. He was out there on some suspicious shit when he was off duty. Shouldn't he have been at home with his fucking family? But nah, he in Lil Wayne area and shit because he knew the area so well. He was just driving through with his police car and a motherfucking scanner. But ain't nobody questioning that bullshit. That's what he should have been questioning. But let's continue, y'all, with the complete bullshit from Lil Wayne bitch made ass who shares the opinion of many of these fake ass celebrities. Remember, we going through the whole interview, goddamn it. Well, the whole race part of the interview. That way, people don't say he was taken out of context. And we broke this shit down just to make sure they don't try to copyright strike a brother. Let's continue. And when he came through, he noticed I was still on the floor bleeding. And he noticed the whole the cops was checking the house and rambling through the house. And he he took he took real pride and he took real he was real upset in the fact that I, a young kid was still on the floor with a hole in his chest. And the cops jumping all over me, just going to look through the house. Let's block talk break that shit down. He said when the dude came through, goddammit, he noticed that Lil Wayne was still on the fucking floor bleeding, y'all. Think about how many cops was there before that detective who was off duty made it to that motherfucking house. He said he noticed the cops rambling through the house, jumping all over a 12-year-old kid that's bleeding to death. But these the people who you come out out to defend Lil Wayne just because one of them fucking saved your life one day by fucking chance goddamn it this is who you come out in defense of huh because we don't remember all of that fuck the police shit that you and Fat Joe used to rap because it's all cool when y'all tell us to kill each other shoot a nigga fuck a nigga stab a nigga or cheat on a bitch fuck a bitch stab a bitch any fucking thing goddamn it when y'all preaching all of that to black people to do amongst each other it's all fucking cool but soon as we go to Sears and Macy's and shit oh stop stop don't tell Walmart don't do this to the cops don't do that this that and the motherfucking third but these cops was jumping all over your dumb ass and remember y'all he said when a dude came he was pissed off cause all of them cops meaning it was more than one cop meaning he was the only fucking one cop to stop he said cops, which means even if it was two cops that came in before him, goddammit, it was majority. It was more than one, goddammit. He was the only one to stop. But let's continue, y'all. So he took it upon himself to pick me up, put me in his arms. He screamed at somebody to come drive the, drive the cop car. They drove the car. He sat in the back seat with me. He held me in his arms. He bust through the hospital doors. He put me, made sure there it was no waiting. He put me straight into the emergency room. They, they patched me up and he made sure I lived. Once he knew I was good, he left. Now let's block talk break that shit down. They said he screamed at somebody to drive the cop car. Think about this, y'all. Is it not protocol to call the ambulance when a fucking 11, 12-year-old is on the fucking floor profusely bleeding, goddammit? Is that not protocol when you bust in that house and you saw a fucking 12-year-old bleeding to death, goddammit? Is it not protocol to say, hey, we got a kid down, living room, bleeding to fucking debt but as you said they jumped over your ass they jumped over you looking for drugs because drugs is more important than a 12 year old bleeding to death black kid god damn it but you out here ready to vouch for that one savior that one cop that said hey there's some type of kid down here bleeding to death. And as you said, he just got you to the hospital. Make sure you ain't have to wait and shit because they don't even give a fuck at the hospital. If you're a 12-year-old kid who bleeding to death, he had to make sure you didn't wait. What the fuck does that say about the system, goddammit? We go from the police officers who didn't give a fuck about you bleeding to death to the hospital that possibly would have let you bleed to death in the fucking waiting room to the point where a cop had to make sure 
know that you was in the emergency room. Then he wiped his hands and left, goddammit. Do y'all hear what the fuck this boy just said? And then after that, Fat Joe told his little savior story about his son was choking or some bullshit. And some paramedic came and did they job, goddammit. Do y'all see what the fuck is going on here? Pure propaganda. They try to play to your emotions at first. See, on the surface, them surface thinkers gonna be like, oh, it was a cop who saved Lil Wayne, man. I'm, I'm tripping, man. Not all cops. Not all cops. They ain't gonna think about that majority that jumped over his silly ass. That majority that didn't give a fuck that he was on the floor bleeding to death, goddammit. That majority that didn't even follow protocol. But let's continue as they get to the George Floyd part of the interview. Now that they think they butted you up towards the cops. Oh, man, a cop saved your life and uh, a cop saved my kid life and shit like that. See, they ain't tell a story about, oh, what about the time them black people bought all your motherfucking albums and made you a star, goddammit? What about them times them black people bought Fat Joe album and made him a star, made him a fucking voice? They ain't talking about that, but they gonna talk about the police officer, goddammit, who saved their life, saved my kid life. But let's continue. So you can't make this up. So now with us seeing this side of the the law, yeah. and now what's going on now when we see with Big George? Yeah. Um. So you have a unique perspective. What What do you think about what's going on right now with this cop on Big George stepping on his neck and all that? I think is a. I think when we see. Now let's block talk break down this bullshit ass question after they try to hit us with their little emotional bullshit, goddammit, because we did not fall for it. Check this out. He said, after us seeing this side of the law, what fucking side? In Lil Wayne's case, an officer had to scream at somebody to drive a fucking car to take him to the hospital because nobody followed protocol and call a goddamn medic, a paramedic, any fucking body, goddamn it. Nobody did that. Or in your case, you called the medic and one came and did their fucking job. What you mean, some side of the law that only you and Lil Wayne saw? Then he goes on to say, now nah, with Big George. That's not that man motherfucking name. God damn it. You don't get to personalize him like you was with him or you been knew him or he was some type of big ass dude that would that probably would have frightened cops. God damn it. The man name is George Floyd. What the fuck is you talking about? He said, what do you think is going on with this cop? First of all, it ain't this cop. Let's read this bullshit off. You are witnessing a rebel network as he said this fucking cop. Let's see who this cop is, y'all. Derek M. Chauvin. Minneapolis police officer who murdered George Floyd on May 25th, 2020. The restraint technique used by Chauvin to murder Floyd was not part of the department's training. Being represented by Tom Kelly, the same attorney who got off Officer Geronimo Yanez or Yanez, who murdered Philandro Castile, acquitted. Derek Chauvin was put on leave in 2011 for inappropriate police shooting of an Alaskan... American native, goddammit, Leroy Martinez. Chauvin shot Ira Latrell Toes, an unarmed black 21-year-old man in 2008 round this bitch. Chauvin was one of the officers who murdered Wayne Reyes, a Latino with 16 bullets forced into him. A total of 42 motherfucking rounds was shot off. Chauvin and another officer who was chasing a car in 2005, causing the death of three people according to communities against police brutality there are 12 brutality complaints against chauvin in the minneapolis office of police conduct and complaint database ain't that a bitch they are all listed as closed non-public and no discipline but he up there talking about some disc cop he up there talking about some disc cop instead of going all the way in if you gonna fucking blog do that shit right god damn it because it's real people out here who's serious with this fucking shit we ain't just one-sided like y'all clearly is around this bitch he went on to say with big george 
you know, after he said with this cop stepping on Big George neck and all of that. Think about this, y'all. We already described who this cop is with all of these fucking charges. He says stepping on his neck and all of that. You mean murdering him in broad daylight and all of that, motherfucker? Do you mean suffocating him violently to death and all of that, motherfucker? Making it light. This cop, you hear me? Stepping on his neck and all of that. Murdering him and all of that what the fuck is you talking about you see you see how they making it look like god damn it but let's continue with Lil Wayne bitch made ass response god damn it cause some of y'all out here believe in him he shared the sentiments of you so I must murder him and you on that fucking point let's continue I think it's a I think when we see these situations, I think we also have to understand that we have to we have to get very specific. We have to get so specific, and what I mean by that, we have to we have to stop we have to stop viewing it from with such a broad view. Meaning, we have to stop put, placing the blame on the whole the whole force and the whole everybody of such a certain a certain race or everybody with a badge. And we have to actually we have to get get into who that person is and. You are witnessing a rebel network. You heard what he said? He said, I think when we see these situations, first of all, they not situations, God damn it. It's murder. Murder in broad daylight. Unjustified murder. Murder, murder, motherfucking murder. You know, like the shit you rap about. That's cool to tell us to do amongst each other. Oh, murder that nigga, man. Pop that nigga, man. Kill that bitch. Yeah, that's a chorus, matter of fact, to one of y'all motherfucking songs. But anyway, he said, you got be specific you gotta be specific when you fucking round oh like fat joe was when telling us the fucking name of this dirty ass murderer did he even say the cop name he didn't even say Derek fucking chauvin yet he out here thinking he a voice and he got some type of standing as a voice after telling us to kill each other murder each other shoot each other house up shoot that nigga in front of his baby mama pop his baby mama and all of that bullshit now nah, it's time to say not all cops bad and all of this bullshit but let's continue because we know fat joe wasn't specific he didn't tell us the fucking crimes that this animal already had in his background but i sure did here at btn be sure to press fucking subscribe Lil Wayne continued to say we can't have a broad view blaming the whole police force or a whole race y'all know what the fuck that equates to it ain't all cops it ain't all white people. Well, God damn it, it's majority and the rest of them are motherfucking accessories. You know how if you, you know that gangster shit you be talking about, you know, man, pop that nigga. You know the, the next person who next to the person who you convinced to pop somebody, God damn it, they gonna get more time than the person who actually shot somebody while amped up on your motherfucking music, God damn it. They gonna say you was an accessory to murder. So them other people who sit around, you know, them other cops who remember Remain silent and shit. It ain't all of them. Them motherfuckers be sitting there not saying a goddamn thing in the locker room. One of them will be sitting right there, the main macho one, like, yeah, I got them niggas today. I planted all kind of heroin on them. I got them. And that old one who you be like, it ain't all of them. He be like, man, why'd you do that, man? And they'll be like, oh, look at this old weak motherfucker. And he'll shut his fucking ass up, just like the white people who witnessed these atrocities as well and keep their motherfucking mouth closed. While some of y'all up there worrying about property The same property that don't even come to speak out about these unjust as murders God damn it Or these unjust as bills It's more than just murder It's these bills and just targeting us in fucking general God damn it But y'all want to come out and talk about property When the last time Gucci said Hey, hey man that's wrong what y'all doing You know what Gucci said Stop wearing our shit Putting out blackface Tommy Hill figure Man stop wearing my shit black uh black card remember when bow wow i'm under 21 with a black card them people say y'all rappers need to keep our motherfucking name out your mouth god damn it you see what i mean why you coming out trying to speak for a fucking company or a business some store ain't none of them stores ever came out and said what y'all doing to black people are foul and we want black people to know we are with you in these unjust times. Did they ever fucking make a commercial saying that like they did for that fake ass virus? We're here for the corona times, you know. We're here with you. Did they do that for you, black person, while you're worried about Target? Man, they knocked down my 
Target. Man, Target probably don't ever come back. Good. Maybe your fucking grandpa might buy that area, make his own store. Maybe your mama buy that bitch and open it up and open up for some fucking jobs for us. But let's continue, y'all, because I'm starting to ramble on some shit. Let's continue, you dig? He said... All of that bullshit. Don't paint with a broad brush, remember? That's just, you know, get back to it. He said, don't paint shit with a broad brush because right now you about to see a Rick James moment where he said, don't paint with a broad brush, yet he goes on to say this. Look. And if we want to place the blame on anybody, it, it should be ourselves for not doing more than what we think we're doing. I mean, so, uh, well, did you hear him? Did you hear him with your own ears? Didn't he just tell us we can't use a broad view? Don't say it's the whole police force. Don't say it's a whole race. But if we gonna say a whole race, it should be ourselves, goddammit. We should use it on the niggas. Don't use a broad view, basically, unless you're using it on black people. Do you hear him? Sometimes you got to keep listening to shit, goddammit, to understand exactly what a motherfucker is saying. And you can replace Lil Wayne with any other celebrity that go for Killer Mike, Trina, and all of them, goddammit. The ideology purge is taking place right now. And you starting to see who with you and who the fuck is against you. But let's get to the next clip y'all reason why people always ask me like why you don't say this why you don't do that is because a lot i mean what else am i gonna do after that we leave we, we some some people put a tweet out and they think that's they think they did something that some people wear a shirt they think they did something i mean what you gonna do after that did, what, did you actually help the person did you actually help the family did you actually go out there and do something so if i ain't about to do all that then i ain't about to do nothing I pray for you. You are witnessing the rebel network. Did y'all hear Lil Wayne? He said, people ask me, why you don't say this? Why you don't do that? And he be like, because what he going to do after that? Think about it, y'all. He's a fucking millionaire. And on top of that, he have so much influence, God damn it. He influenced this whole rap generation. They could say what they want, but they wasn't wearing dreads before he popped up with them. They wasn't having these face tattoos until he done it. They wasn't wearing all this gothic nose ring type shit until he done it. Some people could be in denial and that's another story but i don't give a motherfuck but you have influence god damn it you decide where the fuck you can go after that god damn it then he continued to say some people put out a tweet and they think they did something we read this part and some people wear a shirt and they think they did something not clearly y'all could see that he dissing lebron james but by that man putting out a tweet and wearing a shirt that's more than what your coon ass did god damn it because you did nothing Lil Wayne, you set back and who did you attack when we do see your clown ass? You attacking black people, telling them to blame they self. Well, what you gonna do after telling black people to blame they self god damn it, is you gonna start an organization? Is you gonna help us do something since you told us to blame ourselves in pub, well publicly but you can't tell them stop murdering black people in public you know, you can't just put that out there you can't put out a tweet or wear a shirt but let's continue, he went on to say did you actually help the person did you actually help the family did you actually go out there and do something you heard this stupid ass boy he's a millionaire y'all he could have actually went out and helped the person like lebron can do because he's a millionaire he can actually go out and help the family by searching for a good lawyer other than ben crump lame ass who bought to uh negotiate some type of deal to where they get broke off and the fucking walk the, the officer gonna get to walk and shit like that god damn it that's what ben crump gonna do you could have helped him get another lawyer god damn it he said did you actually go out there and do something yep by them people putting out their tweets god damn it or wearing shirts or rioting or burning down macy's and all of that shit who everybody wants to defend not my walmart not my walmart my target and all of that bullshit yeah they fucking did something i know you want them to still do it 
I mean, peacefully, you still want the old days of Martin Luther King. We shall sing and cry. I know what the fuck y'all want, but you're not getting it. It's a new fucking day and ain't nobody give a fuck. And I don't care if some of them fake angered. I don't care if the ratchet people just taking advantage and really want to get something done. It's about time they do anything, goddammit. I don't give a fuck if the ratchet ones just out there to grab something. We'll take it, goddammit. It's better than these officers is better than these crooked ass politicians let them go out there and do something really gangster for a change god damn it so i'll take that and i don't give a fuck about who caught was smashed in and all of that bullshit it was a casualty of war god damn it and he said so if i'm not about to do all of that then i'm not about to do nothing i'll pray for you you heard him? I'll pray for you. First of all, you telling me you're millionaire? Ain't you the cash money millionaire? You can't help a person, a family, and go out there and do something? You see how he ended it, huh? He said, so if I'm not about to do all that, he just proclaimed that he is doing nothing. He ain't about to help the person. He ain't about to help the family and go out and do something. So he'll pray for you because you know what that means? Pray for you means doing absolutely nothing. So for all of you people, people 60 50 and all of that i'm gonna pray i'm gonna one day god damn it one day even though you've been praying since the fucking 60s and ain't nothing changed god damn it i'm gonna pray you heard Lil Wayne. i pray for you you saw how sarcastically he said it i pray for you you know if anybody did i pray for you fake ass boy but y'all still won't buy his motherfucking album and he don't give one fuck about you he came out in defense of the fucking police before he came out in defense of you god damn it if you ain't gonna do nothing for the person the family or do something if you ain't gonna help the police except tell us fuck the police why would you come out in defense of the police god damn it you should have just shut your coon ass up but we know you everything you do is uh white anyway you stay with a white girl but that's besides the point, y'all. Let's show the next clip around this bitch. You say the follow the follow up is the follow through is is more important than wearing the shirt or talking about it is actually is actually right. Up. It's actually learning about it. What, what we need to do is we need to learn about it more. If we want to scream about something, know what we screaming about and about. We want to protest about something, know what we protesting about. Because if we if we want to get into it, uh, I mean. <laughs> It's a, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of facts that we don't we think we know that we don't know. So if we want to get into it first, know what we talking about before we talk about it, because we scream about things that sometimes they ain't even true. So when, when so you went to jail for two years in New York City. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Did you hear Fat Joe lame ass up here talking about you saying the follow through is more important than wearing a shirt or talking about it, god damn it. You hear that? Talking about it. Go tell Malcolm X that shit. Go tell Patrice Lumumba that. Go tell Marcus Garvey that. Even Martin Luther King who philosophy, who philosophy I don't necessarily agree with. Go tell him that if they was just talking, god damn it. You don't know it's still people out here who talking about we we shall overcome and still pleading and begging to people. That's how powerful words are, goddammit. Lil Wayne goes on to say, it's actually learning about it. What we need to do is learn about it more. If we won't scream about something, know what we screaming about, goddammit. So we out here just screaming, huh? We out here belligerent and don't know what the fuck we talking about according to a person who fucking wealthy. He is wealthy and known based upon rambling bullshit that he don't know nothing about you think Lil Wayne know about murder he just told you he met Lil um, Baby and then when he was 12 he's been rich all his fucking life which means he's been screaming about shit he don't know nothing about but guess what these black people the smart ones who you see on this motherfucking internet and really in these streets god damn it they know what the fuck they talking about they are nothing like you just screaming and not knowing what they talking about and why was why should we believe Lil Wayne in anything he talking Talk about let's let's just go through it gangster them like if he rapping gangster shit should we believe Lil Wayne on what he talking about hell no we just found out you know as he stated in the interview he was 11 when he met on um, baby he been balling y'all we been new about him I'm from New Orleans god damn it he been balling been getting money so what the fuck do he really know about gangster them let's go to finances god damn it baby raped the shit out you then you have to sue him for like 56 million 
here. So we know we can't talk to you about finances as as much as you rap about it. Oh, I got this. I got that. That mean you was just recklessly spending. We can't listen to your stunting and all of that because you don't know shit about finances, you little dumb ass. You don't know shit about guns and butter and shit like that, god damn it. Or should we listen to him about women? Nah, I don't think so because he discriminates when it comes to women. He only like them either white or long hair, thick, red bone, and he don't really go for them, god damn it. He don't really give a fuck about none of them. So should we listen to Lil Wayne ass on anything that his bitch made ass scream about as he put with us expressing our emotions toward these cops and this fucking racist, tyrannical ass government? We just screaming. He said we won't protest. We should be protesting about some other shit because it's a whole lot of facts we think we know, but we don't really know stuff and we just out there screaming shit that's not true god damn it be specific remember you said that shit earlier even though fat joe bitch made ass wasn't specific about the name of the officer yet he got the cheeks to try to personalize george floyd talking about big george and all of that man get your fake ass out of here little wayne should be I ain't gonna even say what I was about to say, goddammit, but you heard him. We just be screaming shit that ain't true. Lil Wayne, what is your lame ass screaming? Nothing. Except for you ain't gonna do this, you ain't gonna do that, but y'all niggas need to stop and blame yourself. Cause it's all of y'all. But it ain't all white people. It ain't the whole force. It ain't, don't blame the whole force, but we could blame all of you niggas though. Y'all hear how the fuck these celebrities get down? And look how they in ended that portion on your dumb ass just to make you look even more stupid. Look at this clip on how they ended and changed the fucking subject to the next subject, goddamn, to the next topic, goddamn it. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Did you hear Fat Joe say, you went to jail for a few years. You see how they ended it? You see how they ended it when Fat Joe said, you went to jail for two years. You know, that's pretty stupid, goddamn. You see how that, that kind of throw everything you just said in the motherfucking trash can. We supposed to listen to you, a person who don't give one fuck about black issues, who couldn't even put out a statement because he mad at what other people follow through is. They ended that shit by saying, then you go to jail with your coon ass boy. You and them celebrities just like you need to be thrown in the trash god damn it remember trina she coming out not calling people animals and killer mike don't mess up the property not the property y'all even shekinah all of these little people they showing their true colors y'all it don't matter who they is so stop saying somebody hating on these dumb idiots god damn it they work for the government why else would these dudes these rappers you saw them uh coming out of the white house and shit with motherfucking um obama and shit rick ross remember what could they possibly be discussing outside of the same shit that king them discussed with J jfk but you can look down my page to figure that out god damn it but look y'all i'm coming back at y'all with more shit shit take time god damn it i don't just put shit out for clickbait y'all know how i get down god damn it i gotta feel it i gotta research it and do my motherfucking thing you did and i appreciate everybody who subscribed and everybody who with me and been with me and who gonna be with me god damn it once again y'all holler at me